the Retro Rampage. We're here with episode 5, and we're playing Lords of Thunder for the Turbo Duo. Champion. This game is fantastic. I just recently did a write-up on this on uh, 1UP.com. Uh, it's a game that was released by Hudson Soft and um, Red Entertainment, co um, It came out for the Turbo Duo in 1993. They made a Sega CD version and ported it over in 1995. Uh, there are some some differences in like the menu screen. The music is different too, which to me is the whole point of this game. The soundtrack. The soundtrack just slaughters everything. Um, I just put in a code there that starts you off with a lot of money because this game this game Fucking is really hard. difficult. It's really difficult. Um, if, you're, if you're a shooter I'm extraordinaire, pretty, you're trying yeah. to throw it at a reasonable rate. But like, I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty good at shooters, but this, this game is pretty rough. But listen to the sound. It's a moment of silence for the match. Stuff. Oh, man. 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 Oh, some firing power, or maybe a Slayer album? With black metal? Thanks for the ability to buy some yeah, uh, thanks copious to amounts of uh, thanks upgrades. To the, thanks to the code, code, I can survive. <laughs> Alright, I think we're set for level one. Now, the first thing about this game is that for coming out in 1993, it looks actually I mean, this is the, the Turbo Duo, which is extremely powerful. Hence the massive price tag that you carry with it. Um, even, more, uh, it even, even still today, it's an expensive thing to have. So, you know, this isn't something you're going to be adding to your, your collection very much. But, uh, um, it came out on the Wii Virtual Console in February of 2008. So we can have this glorious of I mean, if you're into any kind of shooter, you can play the Gradius games, or more specifically if you're into Die Hard or something like this, or, you know, any food game or that kind of shit, this is right up and down. This game, you know, like we were saying before, can be ball breaking. Hard as ball. Yeah, it's it's rough. Um, but like those shooters, I mean, you gotta play it, you gotta get used to it, you learn about it, you learn about And lava spawn. Yeah, there's lava spawn. You can do it in a whole occupy my time. Uh, there's different armors you can take, there's different armors you can take, and they kind of give you a benefit, and you know, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's water, the wind, fire, and air. <laughs> Yeah, water, yeah, yeah, water, wind, fire, uh, earth, yeah, horrible, uh, 70s, yeah, yeah, earth, wind, fire, so, yeah, those are your, those those are your shit like that, yeah, yeah, um, but they all have their, their pros and cons, like, the fire roller can deal out some pretty decent damage, um, as you can see, I got myself fucked over already, you know, these games take some focus, so, that'll, that'll be my experience. Ugh. I know, Dave Rock is just being like... I don't get it. Got a rock. Oh, fuck. I had to bomb. I know, I had to. The bombs are coming in. The bombs are really Especially good. Especially boss fights. Yeah, yeah. The bosses are really awesome. Let's hope I don't fucking shit the bed before I get into the set boss. <laughs> but I mean, as you can see, the background is right everything from the background. It's crisp. The soundtrack is I mean, I, I have the soundtrack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the TV, play it in my car, jam out of the way to work, run people off the road, and just like punch people. Run down pedestrian. Here we go. Here's a uh, here's here's Captain Ansel version one. Right in focus. Gigantic. Pattern reasonable. This 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 
because this day, this level isn't going to be like a Yeah, and you see, like, the bosses change color the more damage they take. Um, Billy that's, Crystal Bonus. Yeah, yeah, Billy Crystal Bonus. <laughs> now we have different, uh, what are we got? Uh, lobster Disc. Yeah, yeah, look, we have, uh, you know, Lamarata, Lobster Disc, Delgado, Sulo Green, and uh, Azul. There is no data, there is only Zool. Um, and well, this is obviously in Center Island gets a lot of the other level. Yeah, and the, the last level. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not. Oh, I'm gonna play, uh, uh, Zero Green Rush. I'll play, I'll play Delgado. Uh, ice this is, cream cone. Yeah, yeah, this is the, the ice cream cone. For new Spanish speakers out there. I'm gonna go for, uh, that. Thank you, good sir. Five life, that's what I'm missing. So, Bombs! Bombs! Baby. Yeah. Bombs! Uh, I'll get the bombs. I, I always... I always have the Luna button. Shit right there. Alright. So now we've got, we've got our, our shit squared away. I mean, the backgrounds... The backgrounds are great. All the sprites... I mean, there's a ton of different enemies. There's the Bio Blaster from uh, FF6. Yeah, Edgar School. Yeah, Edgar Schools are coming out to play. Waiting for an enemy to bust out the auto crossbow after some shit. People <laughs> chainsaw. That would be terrible. That's an instant kill. And and that I think is one of the other awesome features about this game is that like yes, it's a balls hard fucking shoot up. But you know you have hell. Free bullet hell boy. It's not Catrice. Oh, these guys, these guys are assholes. These guys are just floating up and down because they take a lot of hits. It doesn't look like it now because I, I, I managed to retain my fucking But they, they take a lot of hits and they can blow up and fuck up. Nice legs are assholes. Yeah, they, they push you, they damage you, they're just complete pieces of shit that they get. And there's, and you can see here, like, the jets of water come out, and they actually, they push you in the direction they're blasting. So, of course, they're, they're right Perf on the They're part of this fleet, but in, to, to put you right on the way. As you can see right there, that was exhibit A. Sign out to him to get close to the enemy, actually swipe your sword. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that, yes, great. Yeah, in, in this game, uh, another thing I forgot to mention, this is actually the spiritual sequel to Pain of Thunder, which is very similar to um, but in this game, instead of piloting a ship, you actually control a, a person in armor. Samurai. Yeah, yeah, it's anime. It's anime. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to this look. This game is a little cutscene for one in a while. It's not throwing it there. Yeah, and the cutscenes are purpose. the cutscenes are well animated. You know, everything looks good. The colors are nice. We're talking old CD console quality. Yeah, so it's kind of so still, it's still, still quality with a little bit of voice, a little bit of this. Nothing, nothing doing that, but you know, for the time, for the minute. Yeah, I mean, this this game is, is the reason to own Perfect World. And that if shouldn't be in there, should be away. So when you get that huge person from, just go out and buy yourself Go out and spend deal. all of it on a Turbo Duo. There we go, I got my full force back. Right in time for the boss! If I remember, is this the is this a unicorn boss? I think it is a unicorn boss. I'm not sure. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Viewers included, we're all the boss. Yeah, there it is. There it is. You will shove his cock up your ass. Be careful, watch it, please. And he goes below. Oh, I forgot that that was but like he's he's really only vulnerable at certain times. He's got me on the run. 
Oh, come on. Oh, I gave you a little prick. Oh! oh. <laughs> Last second kill. Billy Crystal. Seven Billy Crystal, Crystal bonus. CeeLo Green is a tough level. Um, yeah, it's right here. Love Trubisk. I, th I think this one can be tough. I mean, they're, they're all they're all a nightmare. Yeah, I would go with this. Yeah, I'll be loud with this. The water armor is perfectly like suited for any level. It's um, pretty much all around armor. Everything has an advantage. Like I think the earth one attacks. The earth one, yeah, yeah, the earth one attacks the ground, so that really helps it out when you're trying to take out like ground forces that are like shooting up and doing you know causing all kinds of mayhem. Um, the the water fire is good back. Yeah, yeah, very the, helpful for the answer to fall behind it. Yeah, because the fire does like a flame thrower and like a sweet motion in front of you. Um, the air, what does the air do? I think the I air, think oh no, the air has full frontal, it's like full frontal tree cover. Full frontal nudity. Yeah, but, but it doesn't, it doesn't cover the friggin' cock bags coming from behind, so, so, you know, like everything has its, has its use. I don't miss up to Yeah, yeah. The, this level, Full penetration. There's the um, there's the pistol off uh Piranha Peak here. Bird guy is above guys. Like once you kill them, you can see it kind of like move back around and shoot their fire and outward with Let's be honest, here's a options. Like this, not this this game is is kind of like a Ruben in the sense that every enemy you kill shoots back at you, except you don't have the polarity switch where you can flip and you can fucking dodge. You get fucked or dodge. <laughs> Pretty much, it's those are your own choices. What I mean is seriously, even if you're not, you know, the die-hard fucking. Player. This game is definitely worth it. Like, if you can learn it, it's really it worth it. Every the music's fantastic. The visuals are oh, the soundtrack is fucking great. It's, it's incredible. It's hard to describe, but like, you, you know what the game that this sphere is to the game and stuff like this kind of a heavy soundtrack. Let's look at early CD quality kind of music. Like, you know what the extra miles are like. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And, and what's strange is like the, the group or studio that did the music, they kind of really just dropped off the map. Like, no one really knows what happened to the end of it. Kind of just, this is it, this is what we did. Alright, we're gonna sit on it. Yeah, okay. They're working at Cinnabon with the bases and the sound bar. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Sound fucking muffled in the face. Seriously, these fucking red guys! They just walkers got the spike thing and concentrate. The fucking red guys, they take so many goddamn hits. They just float on by on hey buddy. I'm just gonna fucking get in the way and cause damage. These guys coming from the background. They think this is. We have a weapon meter. You weapon meter actually, you have so oh. And there's my health meter going to zero. Now see, when you die, it's carnation and some game over. You, your continues are they active lives. You know, so like, when when you first play through it, it's very uh, it's very discouraging. Yeah, I can see that. We got our ass kicked when we first played through. I'm gonna bust out the fire armor. See how it see how it goes. <laughs> really can't really can't get with my butt, son. Yeah, uh, I got knocked up against yeah, the bombs. I got bombs, full health. As you can see, the fire see you it, like we were saying before, it does this this sweeping flame thrower type. There's no back damage. That really doesn't count. I can get a lot of back but, but since it has a sweeping frontal attack, you can usually use that to kind of wipe out some of the, uh, some of the smaller enemies. As you can see, it, it, it deals a hefty amount of damage to the uh, standard care. Like those red hot something assholes from early on. It's really nasty. It's like a little shit right now. 
Yeah, yeah, see, there's, there's your, uh, shit platter served up. Places well, down, it's different on one where they kind of help you out. It gets, it all depends on the place, though. I mean, in, in order to really, uh, to really know which armors to use, you gotta play the game and gotta practice. We're so, stubborn, we use cool armors. That's a lot of things that make Anyway, but <laughs> yeah, I, I, I pretty much up. I pretty much play flyer when I want to, and switch back to the water whenever. You know, it's pretty much just all the win. Oh yeah, I forgot how bad ass the freaking magic ability for this guy. Nobody wants to see me fumble my way through a game that I'm not very good at. Nobody wants to see a long play. Lots of perfection. Like, like, not awesome. <laughs> yeah, because I, you know, I didn't have the luxury of growing uh, up. So I don't think many people did. Yeah, did especially, 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 yeah, especially in this area. I mean, a lot of people just didn't afford it. But you know, so this this game is still very very fresh. Best way to get it is virtual console, like $80. Uh, let's see how downgraded. Like the fire, much like the wind, is a lot about 12 coverage. It, it does a lot in the Damage is high, but the range is not limited, and you don't get the back shot. So. I know I'm working myself on bottom of the boss, but I'm trying to reach me. Oh god! Those guys are the best That's cool, like, they, they come from the background, it's pretty cool. Like, it's cool, it's like, it's like in Concert 3. Or no, not Concert 3. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Don't they the uh, the fight I believe so. I know they do it in Concert Park 4. Made it to the boss, not ideal condition. But let's see what we can work together here. Oh yeah, this guy's actually kind of straight forward. Oh yeah, the blue shot. Oh god, yeah, it's very hard to die. Yes! And with that, we're gonna call it a day. Um, as, as you can see, a virtual console. yeah, we're playing a virtual console. Do not own the Turbo Duo yet, but um, this game is seriously fantastic. If you have a Wii, get your credit card. For get, Christ's sake, get a, buy get, this. Get a thousand Wii points. Spend eight of them. Take the other two hundred and just throw them out because you don't need them. Once you have this game. You're good. Honestly, donate the other two dollars to Nintendo. Call it a wash. Let them win. Let them win, because in the end, you win by owning this game. It's fantastic. Music, background sprites, the gameplay is out of control. I mean, as you it's heard, fucking nasty. it can be rage-inducing, but it, no, nah, it, you know, that's the deal about shoot 'em ups They're not really truly satisfying until you get to the point where you're just sweeping everything. You know what's coming. It's, you know, if that's not your type of game, then maybe you might want to pass. But, like, this is the kind of game that's going to require a couple playthroughs, some patience. But, I mean, it's it's definitely solid, definitely worth your $8. So go out, pick it up, and uh, be sure to come back for Episode 6. Until then, keep it old school. Peace. Nice. <laughs>